Florida Department of Health is reporting a high number of leprosy cases in Florida so far this year. SNN's ha Allison Henning shows you an animal that could be linked to the increase. Leprosy. It's a disease we don't hear of too often in today's day and age. This rare skin condition is on the rise in Florida. The Florida Department of Health says 2 to 12 Floridians are diagnosed each year, but in 2015 there have already been nine confirmed cases in the state. The most recent diagnosis was three weeks ago in Flagler County. Although there has been a spike in leprosy cases so far this year in Florida, the Florida Department of Health says here in Sarasota County there have been no reported cases as far back as 1995. Experts believe the increase in cases this year could be linked to armadillos. This mammal, known for its leathery armored appearance, can naturally carry leprosy according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Jordan Hall with Animal Pro's wildlife removal trapped an armadillo Wednesday morning. He wears gloves and other protective gear to avoid contact with the mammal. Any of the uh, secretions that might be on the armadillo, anything underneath the shell, maybe where someone might pick one up at, any of that can transfer onto you and cause you to get the bacteria. Epidemiologist with the Department of Health in Sarasota, Michael Drennan, says contraction is rare and only 5% of people exposed will actually develop the disease. He says after exposure, the incubation period can range anywhere from 9 months to 20 years. If a person does have exposure to armadillo, even with the chances being low that they could contract disease, probably just go ahead and go to talk to a doctor and just kind of get things cleared in case they need medication or not because of the long um, incubation period. Reporting in Sarasota, Allison Henning, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Wildlife experts recommend calling a professional trapper if you come across an armadillo near your house.